You may have noticed I've got a slightly different setup today. Yep, that's right. I'm using a condenser microphone. They're awesome in the studio, but they're actually pretty useless when you've got lots of background noise. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. If you're wondering why you couldn't hear the power saw that I was operating during the intro, that's because I removed its sound using a brand new free plugin called Goyo or Goyo. No one knows the answer to that particular mystery. We're going to be running some other tests with it later on to remove some different kinds of background noise. But before we do that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. If you follow their VIP discount link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to all of the major platforms. So let's start cutting out some background noise with Goyo. So as you can see, the controls for Goya are really very simple. You can think of this as a mixer where you mix the ambience or background sounds, the voice and any reverb which may be associated with the voice, the reflections off the walls, etc. We're going to look at this last one a little bit later. But for our first test, we're going to be concerned with isolating the voice from any background noise. So we're going to listen again to the audio from my intro to this video where I was using the power saw. First of all, let's have a quick listen to that without any changes being made in Goya yet and we'll be able to hear that power saw. You may have noticed I've got a slightly different setup today. Yep, that's right. I'm using... So it's very clear to hear it and that could be regarded as a kind of a useless recording. So the thing that we're going to start off by doing very, very simple is just mute the ambience. OK, so I'm just going to click on the mute button here for the ambience control and let's have a listen and see what that's done. You may have noticed I've got a slightly different setup today. Yep, that's right. I'm using a condenser. It's really good, right? Especially in those gaps. Now, when I first listened to this um, through sort of speakers, and I, I thought it was just perfect, to be honest with you. Now I'm listening through some really high quality headphones and I can just slightly hear the sound of that saw here and there, okay? But this is now a usable recording. So that's, you know, how we easily just get rid of background noise. We can just use that mute. Now you may be wondering, well, why have a dial at all? Well, my theory for this is if you were actually using this in combination with video and there was very obviously something in the background like traffic or what have you that was making some noise, it may be a bit weird to completely eliminate it. In this case, you may just want to reduce the level of that background noise. Let's just try that again with our saw in the background. You may have noticed I've got a slightly different setup today. Yep, that's right. I'm using a condenser microphone. So I think that's incredible already to me using the ambience control. So what about the voice reverb? As you can see, I'm no longer in my studio, but in a regular room in my house. And the acoustics are not that great. In particular, you can hear a lot of echo or reverb on my voice. We're going to be using Goyo in a moment to remove that. And I think you'll find it's pretty easy. Talking about easy, our sponsor DistroKid make it easy for you to get your music to all of the major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, etc. You just have to upload your track with some artwork, fill in a simple form and DistroKid does the rest. So in the past, I've found that removing reverb using plugins has a lot more sort of mixed results, okay? It's obviously not an easy thing to do. And although this plugin is not perfect with it, I think it does a reasonable job. But let's start off by just removing any ambience that may be there. And we'll have a listen to that voice just quickly again and listen for that reverb which is present there at the moment. Our sponsor DistroKid make it easy for you to get your music so it just makes it sound kind of less professional and makes the voice sound less focused. So I'm going to go ahead and simply mute the voice reverb. OK, have a listen to this now. Our sponsor DistroKid make it easy for you to get your music to all of the major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, etc. So I think you can still hear it there just a tiny bit. But 
it's really a massive improvement. So I think this does at least as good a job as commercial plugins I've used, such as RX from Isotope. Of course, it's free and it's very simple to use, which is one thing I really love about this. So at the time of making this video, Goyo is in beta version, or beta, depending on which part of the world you're from. So if you follow the link in the description down below, it's completely free at the moment. You just have to give them your email address. I don't know if it's going to be free or not in the future when it goes to version one so now may be a good time to grab it if you want to find out about other awesome free plugins I've made a whole series of videos about them if you want to check them out follow this little thumbnail right here